So our lesson for today is proving trigonometric identities. So for this example, we'll be working with 1 plus tan x over 1 minus tan x, and we need to prove that to be equal to tan x plus pi over 4. Whenever we're proving identities, we need to work with the one that is more complicated or something that we can simplify. We'll start with the right side because we know that tan a plus b looks similar to the right side. Start with the right side, tan x plus pi over 4, and we plug that into the tan a plus b formula, then we get tan x plus tan pi over 4 over 1 minus tan x times tan pi over 4. And here, we know how to simplify tan pi over 4. If we apply our special triangle, that should be 1, 1, root 2, and pi over 4, and pi over 4. Tan pi over 4 should be equal to 1, because that's opposite over adjacent. So we can change our tan pi over 4 to 1. So now we have tan x plus 1 over 1 minus tan x times 1, and that simplifies to 1 plus tan x over 1 minus tan x, which is equal to our left side. So now we're moving on to proving identities by solving and expanding or simplifying. So here we have sine theta plus cos theta squared over sine 2 theta is equal to 1 plus cosecant 2 theta. So we'll start with the left side because it seems like we can simplify it by expanding. So we'll expand the numerator first by using FOIL. So we'll get sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta plus cos squared theta. But we know that sine squared theta and cos squared theta is equal to 1. So we can combine those two and get 1. So we're left with 1 plus 2 sine theta cos theta in the numerator. And we also know that sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. So that will be our denominator. And here we can separate this two by dividing the first term to the denominator and the second term to the denominator. So here we have 1 divided by 2 sine theta cos theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta over 2 sine theta cos theta. Since the numerator here and the denominator here are the same, they can cancel out and becomes 1. So now we have 1 on the right side. And also, we know that 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to sine 2 theta. So that means we have 1 over sine 2 theta plus 1. And one of the reciprocal function is cosecant theta, and we know that that's equal to 1 over sine theta. So that means we can change this whole term with cosecant 2 theta. So now we have cosecant 2 theta plus 1, which is equal to our right side. Another way of proving identities that we could take advantage is to look at patterns. So here, we have tan x plus y minus tan y over 1 plus tan x plus y times tan y should be equal to tan x. So now, we can start with the left side, but it looks complicated. However, we can recognize the pattern where it seems like it looks similar to tan a minus b, where we have tan a minus tan b over 1 plus tan a tan b. But in this case, our b is equal to y and our a is equal to x plus y. So what we can do is to let x plus y is equal to a. So here we have tan a minus tan y over 1 plus tan a times tan y and that should give us tan a minus y and if we bring back a that should be equal to 
tan x plus y minus y, and since y will cancel out, then we're left with tan x. Therefore, right side is equal to left side. So finally, we can combine identities to solve a more complicated question. So right here, we have sine 3x is equal to sine x cos squared x minus sine cube x plus 2 sine x cos squared x. But in this case, we'll try to work with sine 3x first. So we'll work with the left side. So here, what we need to think about is what do we know about having an angle of 3x? Well, we know that compound angle are two angles that are being added together to get a different angle. But in this case, we have 3x. So that means we can use sine x plus 2x. So we'll start with that. So sine x plus 2x, if we expand that using our compound angles, that should be equal to sine x times cos 2x plus cos x times sine 2x. But we know that cos 2x is equal to cos squared x minus sine squared x and sine 2x is also equal to 2 sine x cos x. So now what we can do is expand. So if we expand, we multiply sine x inside and cos x inside, then we will get sine x times cos squared x minus sine cube x plus 2 sine x cos squared x. Therefore, left side is equal to right side. And that is our lesson for today.